Welcome to the Invite Health Podcast, where our degreed healthcare professionals are excited to offer you the most important health and wellness information you need to make informed choices about your health. You can learn more about the products discussed in each of these episodes and all that Invite Health has to offer at www.invitehealth.com slash podcast. First time customers can use promo code podcast at checkout for an additional 15% off your first purchase. Let's get started. My wife and I habitually get up early in the morning, 5 to 5.30. Yes, on the weekend we sleep in, 6, 6, 15. <laughs> so we have our little routine. We get up, we chat a little bit, we hug, I brew coffee, we take care of the two dogs, Charlie and Harry, they're the sweetest dogs on the planet, except for your dog, of course. Uh, then, you know, we watch a little news, we check the weather, and then I go exercise. I have a recombinant bike up in the bedroom. So I ride the bike for 20 to 30 minutes, depending on how much time I have that any given morning, because I have a lot of other things to do. But I do a lot of stretching. I do uh, push-ups, and I lift weights. So it's a nice morning workout. But then after that, I have my morning concoction. It's a health concoction. It's a health blend. It's several powders I mix together. And the best time to me to take it is after exercise. So with age, we have this natural loss of tissues, strength, even memory functions. This uh, concoction addresses everything in my body. Now, it's not my vitamins. I take my vitamins and, those, and other more uh, obscure supplements later with my breakfast. So this blend, I think you hit 50 or so. You really want to know about this blend. So welcome to my uh, podcast episode, my morning health concoction. My name is Jerry Hickey. I'm a nutritional pharmacist. I'm also the senior scientific officer over here at Invite Health. Thanks for tuning in to the uh, Invite Health podcast today. You can find all of our episodes for free wherever you listen to podcasts or just visit invitehealth.com forward slash podcast. Please make sure you subscribe and please leave us a review. You can also follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Invite Health. And the information on this episode is linked at the episode description. So uh, I really want to get going here. I think this is very instructional also. It tells you a lot about health. When we hit our mid-20s, we stop producing as much collagen. Our collagen production starts to decline, and it declines a little bit more each year. And that's uh, an issue because the second most common ingredient in the human body is collagen. The first ingredient in the human body is water. It makes our interstitial fluid, which is the fluid inside our cells, the, the extracellular fluid, fluid in the brain. Of course, our blood is largely water. Our lymphatic tissue is largely water. There's a lot of fluid in our, in our skin. So the number one content of the human body is water, but number two is collagen. And it's mostly type 1 collagen with some type 3 collagen. Our body is very careful about how it applies uh, whatever growth factors and hormones, etc. we have. And after the age of 25, some of these start to decline. So the body doesn't have as much reserve as it used to, so it really puts all of its effort towards the things that are most important. So one of the things that becomes less important after you finish growing at the age of 25 is making collagen because you, you know, your arms aren't growing longer and your skeleton is not growing taller, etc. because collagen makes all these tissues. So at the age of 25, collagen production starts to decline at about 1% per year. So by the time you're 50, you're making 38% collagen, 38% less collagen. Now, that's really important because 67% of your joint cartilage is collagen. 70% of your skin is collagen. Most of the tissues of your hair and nails is collagen. Your bone is 36% collagen. That's what the calcium attaches to to make bone. Collagen also makes up the blood-brain barrier that keeps toxins out of the brain. The lining of your blood vessels, the lining of your organs and tissues. There's collagen content in your muscles and your heart. There's collagen in the lining of your intestines. So it's all over the place. The menisci that hold up your knees, they're all made out of collagen. So with age, when you're making less collagen, your body suffers. So when you take collagen, it helps you rebuild your bones. It helps safeguard the health of your joints, like your knee joint. Uh, it's excellent for your skin, hair, and nails. So one way I push back on 
aging is I take a scoop of something called Collagex HA because it also has glucosamine and your knee joint, it's mostly the cartilage in your knee joint, uh, you know, the, uh, the slippery tough stuff on the end of your bones that prevent your bones from grinding together. That's mostly collagen with some glucosamine in it, but it also has hyaluronic acid, which makes the fluid, the protective fluid in your joint. And, and your skin basically is collagen and hyaluronic acid. Collage XHA is addressing my bones, my skin, my joints, my hair, my nails, my spinal tissue. And then I add a scoop of Flex HX. Now, if I had an injury, I'd be using two or three scoops of Flex HX. Flex HX is engineered to help with your ligaments and tendons. Ligaments hold together your joints and your bones, and tendons attach to muscles. And with age, just like collagen production drops, we also make less of the peptides that create our ligaments and tendons. So they tend to stiffen and dry out, and they also develop micro tears. And this is a problem. This is the most common injury in aging people. Uh, they're playing tennis or pickleball or golf, or they're doing some exercise or just taking walks, and they have damaged ligaments and tendons. They're making the tears worse and worse, more severe and more severe, because they just can't keep up the health, maintain the structure of these tissues. So Flex HX has the peptide specific for ligaments and tendons. Otherwise, you could wind up with golfer's elbow or tennis elbow. You don't have to play tennis or golf to get golfer's elbow or tennis elbow. It's pain and inflammation and damage in the tendons in your forearm. You could be painting the ceiling. You could be gardening. You could be reaching up in front of you and doing things. Well, your ankles, that's your biggest tendon. That's your Achilles tendon. Very common to have pain in the Achilles tendon. Behind the knee, the anterior cruciate ligaments hold the knee steady so it doesn't wobble. All of these get damaged with age. In fact, all the people tend to develop something called trigger finger. The tendon and when their finger stiffens, they start to hear clicking sounds. It's getting stuck in a position like you're pulling a trigger. They have a lot of pain. The Flex HX helps prevent that. So it's rebuilding my ligaments and tendons because ligaments and tendons define your mobility and your independence and your ability to take a walk or garden or exercise and have a great time. Then I take Active HX. Active HX is beta hydroxy beta methyl butyrate. Beta hydroxy beta methyl butyrate. In the old days, we used to say, hey, take whey protein powder for your muscles. And it's still a great option. And then researchers said, well, it's really not the whey protein that's the most important. It's the branch chain amino acids, which are leucine, isoleucine, and valine. And then they said, well, you know, the branch chain amino acids are great, but it's really the leucine content. And then finally they said, well, it's not really the leucine. It's what leucine changes into, which is HMB hydroxymethylbutyrate, or it's actually called beta-hydroxybeta-methylbutyrate. So we have the research grade. All of these are research grade, by the way. They've all been used in human clinical trials. We have the research grade HMB. That helps prevent muscle loss in older people. There was a very interesting study recently. They compared younger people who became inactive for 10 days. You know, I don't know if they twisted their ankle, broke their leg, whatever it was, but they were stuck in bed for 10 days compared to older people stuck in bed for 10 days. The young people lost zero muscle. They lost zero strength. The older people in 10 days of bed rest lost 4% of their muscle and strength. When they gave them HMB, it prevented the loss of muscle and strength. Because we go through a natural but not very good situation with age. It's called sarcopenia, where we have an age-related drop in muscle and strength. Um, in our 40s, we start to lose muscle at about a rate of 1% per year. So by the time you're 49, you've lost 10% of your muscle. But then it accelerates. By the time you're 59, you've lost 30% of your muscle and a similar amount of strength. Because there's not a, an exact ratio of muscle to strength. And then by the time you're 69, you could have lost 60% or more of your muscle and strength. And it gets worse in your 70s. So nobody wants that because nobody wants to fall down and break their hip or fall down and conk their head. And if you have more muscle, that doesn't happen. Plus, you're stronger. You survive better. You live longer. You're healthier. You have more fun. You enjoy your life more. So the active HX helps prevent muscle loss in aging people, and it can even address rebuilding muscle. I add bone powder, only a half a scoop. It's calcium, 
magnesium, very good forms of calcium and magnesium, vitamin D3, um, boron, silica, and vitamin K1 and K2, all of these different things you need to engineer bone. And then finally, I top it off with a scoop of cocoa. But this is real cocoa. It's not chocolate. Because when you process cocoa into chocolate, you lose something that's really good for your brain called a flavin 3 oil. Flavin 3 oils restore circulation to the brain, and this leads to vascular recoupling, neurovascular recoupling, meaning that the organs in the brain that have to work together for memory and problem solving and learning, etc., the circulation's improving between them, and they're reverting to a much healthier period, and memory actually improves. So that's my morning concoction. I could add whey protein to it. I don't need to because I typically have protein with my breakfast. My wife gets me a form of bread. She gets me this wonderful bread that's loaded with protein and fiber. So, And then once in a while I'll put um, a piece of cheese on that, like a low-fat Swiss cheese or something. Or uh, I'll cook a couple of eggs. Having eggs once in a while is, is a good thing to do. Certainly having one egg once in a while is a good thing to do for your health. Or uh, I'll have avocado. So I generally get enough protein with my breakfast because each slice of that bread is 7 grams of protein. And at my age, an older guy, you can only use about 20 grams of protein at each sitting anyway. So that's my morning concoction. And I strongly recommend the following for older people that want to maintain their health. The collagen, type 1 collagen, it really helps rebuild you. The Flex HX for your ligaments and tendons because... If they start to rip, it's very hard to heal them, especially when you're older. And the active HX. The active HX is the HMB for your muscles. Everything else is gravy. So thank you for tuning in to the Invent Health Podcast. You can find all of our episodes for free wherever you listen to podcasts or just visit inventhealth.com forward slash podcast. Please subscribe and leave us a review. You can also follow us on Facebook. What's that called now? Meta World, Twitter, and Instagram at Invite Health. I hope to see you next time on another episode of the Invite Health Podcast. Thank you so much for listening. Jerry Hickey signing off. Mm-hmm.